I'm now going to demonstrate the many functions of the TAC A3340S that I picked up for 150 bucks with less than 25 hours or so that looks use on the heads. Practically brand new. Um, it came without the wood side panels and I did source some of those uh, through a friend and here she is. I'll show you and try to narrate. Check one, check two, uh, that's not bad. Okay. I'm recording all the audio into Audacity straight from this thing and from the turntable and everything else and I'll overdub it with a video later because I can't seem to get it to sync up right in my computer. So first we have our blank take-up reel. Put it on, like so. And then you rotate this thing until it's a nice tension. There's your take-up reel. Supply reel is basically the same operation. Take your supply, which in this case is going to be an Ampex 631, manufactured in 1988, and you mount it the same way. You then thread it by giving yourself some tape slack. If you have a leader on your tape, it is best to use that. This does not have a leader. So I always fast forward about 10 or so feet to account for tape handling and oils that might occur. Because this one does not have a tape. This one does not have a leader. And you basically run it. And you, so you run it at zero, run it around this arm, under this, through the head path, in between the cap stand and pinch roller, up this arm, it happens sometimes, around this reel. That sit on 15 IPS. If you want to use it seven and a half, then you just go the tension arm around this reel. Then you hold the tape and rotate it. it takes a little bit of practice. Obviously, I haven't mastered it yet to get it just right. Just rotate it a little bit, like so. I'm going to fast forward for a couple of feet. Account for the tape handling problems because I have to use my fingers and I will now record something. To record, first you have four record mode switches. Channels 1, 3, 2, and 4. Sorry about the lighting. For 1 and 3, which are your front two channels, which are your normal stereo channels for quarter track, Push those up. It will now allow it will now allow the TX to record on those channels. Record and the record EQ and bias are set at one. This is kind of your average tape.
to put it into record, you need to press record and play. I won't do that yet because I'm not ready to. The selection I have set to record, already spinning, the arm is cute. is a very obscure album that I found at the Goodwill. As you know, my friend found at the Goodwill and sent to me uh, called Dulcimer Wizardry by Cecilia Hortico or Hortico. If anyone has any information on this, let me know. Never seen, the, never seen this anywhere else. Her name's mentioned a couple times on the web. That's about it. The first track is called Ghost Riders in the Sky. I will now Set my record levels so that they peak nicely. Both the source, drop the arm. Move it over a little bit. little bit over. Should be about right. That's how you set up a TAC to record. If you're recording from vinyl, you need to drop the arm on the turntable and then very quickly go and put it into record mode. For a clean start, you don't have a nice wump in your tape. This is not going to be a, this is just a demo tape, so I'm going to put it into record mode by pressing record and play at the same time. As you can see these two little lights are lit. The reels are turning. So you then put the arm down on the record. When you're done, just press stop.